So then we are back with a more understanding from the time of the second tabernacle services where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshayahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the Aurum feast and also the returning of the holy city of the Hamashiach laid waste from many centuries. Reading from Yeshiyahu the prophet, it's always important glancing at the scripture in its original form because the scripture teaches sections and understandings regarding the prophecies of the time of the end and also the final combat and destruction of this age. Now then, there are many churches, many groups, and many forms of understanding of the scripture, but none of these are so worst than people interpreting the scripture on their own devices. So then, the Hamashiach ben Yosef, when he was involved teaching what the prophecies were related with the time of the end and the autumn feast. What was then his objective? People then sometimes, when they don't read the scripture, and they take on upon themselves this lazy act of simply enjoying life, enjoying the everyday, let somebody else do the work. It shows on a scripture that this time is then related with Matichiyahu where then the scripture states very clearly that the time comes when then people are going to get caught unprepared. Now then understandably salvation is absolutely conditional. Now, I must explain why salvation is conditional, because it relates with the prophecy, related with exactly the timing of the Moadim, when this day, obviously during the autumn, when then the final combat or then the destruction comes. Now then, the understanding of conditional meaning a person must maintain the walk with the divine. It's not the divine is going to maintain the walk with a person. Now then the Greco text always points towards the idea of a person being saved and always being saved. And that's not the case. The original manuscripts or the Torah in its original form, the pictograph form, explains the scripture as a journey. A great long journey with the divine. So it was during the time of Enoch, Yashar, during the time of Malach Tzaddik, in many other types of manuscripts, thousands upon thousands of manuscripts that were inspired and generated and unfortunately they were lost but each of them inspired and worthy for the understanding of this continuation of walk and the understanding of salvation. Now then, in this known New Testament and as it is the New Testament is the wine of perdition because it's so twisted it's so mixed and then people rather than spending the time reading the scripture they spend the time on the roads on beaches wasting their lives with pleasures and they simply cannot explain the holy instructions so then if the light is not generated by their walk obviously won't be generated by their mouth understandably the holy instructions not only speaks of salvation and understanding of the divine it also explains then 
the understanding of salvation related with systems now then Daniel the prophet explained many times related with the time of the end in the nations of the base of the statue and Daniel chapter 2 where then some nations would become strong some nations weak and during this time when we understand what the political scenes are related with the nations coming together and trying to resolve the world's problems of the economy the understanding is they are making economical interpretations what does it mean economical interpretations nations they are trying to make the path that's going to become their own way of doing trade now then the scripture is very clear because the kingdom of the East is establishing the last line of trade worldwide liking it or not reading the scripture or not reading the scripture understanding the scripture as it is or in its original form liking the scripture or not liking the scripture going along with it or not the point is the scripture has pointed a specific time with a specific country that's going to lead the trade of the time of the end and this place is named China now then we find our president going along and going to other countries and making absolutely no distinction of the world's economy because our the economy of our own unfortunately is so far down that it's simply ridiculous our own president going around and trying to establish links because simply our economy can no longer absolutely can no longer participate in the world's trade as it is now knows about the saying about capacity or ability of generating trade we are talking about system the United States has neglected system for so long and they have placed themselves behind the printing money machine for so long now they have squandered the wealth of our country and they are late as far as its systems so nobody's saying the United States has no ability as far as raw materials as far as as manpower as far as as money printed but the United States is very far behind regarding system China has a global system linking up the nations and they are doing this on a daily basis in the United States cannot do as during this time of the restoration the time of the end so then because of these then Daniel 11 explains then a system despised now from the standpoint of the economy Daniel was the minister of finances of many kingdoms and he did understand the importance of system that's why then when he explained a lot of sections of the Daniel and the nations he uses particular Hebrew words such as Gentile Netzer explaining these sections because the language used back then was agrobiology language and did not have abstract words so then during this time people are trying to interpret the scripture in an abstract form that they simply did not exist thus then confusion thus then misunderstanding thus then people thinking they have salvation when they don't and then goes on and on and on however as far as, as understanding the economy what Daniel has said regarding the time of the end 
Daniel 11 is very clear as far as, as the understanding of this. Daniel is explaining that the West, the system of the West, is absolutely bankrupt. When he speaks of despising, he's not talking of rejection of a country. He's talking about an economical power that was depleted. Now then, when leaders they have their own agenda in the government, they truly are not interested in trying to fix the economy. They are interested in fixing their own trade, their own personal situations. They want to make links with many countries. And after 40 years, then comes another team, and then the situation goes on and on and on. So, from the standpoint of reality, politicians, they don't care. If we make a mistake as far as this, mixing some divine with the country caring for the people caring for the country it's already the wrong start or the wrong starting point of understanding the scriptures because our economy is ruined not sure how many times I have to say this but our economy is ruined now then this existing president is a charlatan. He's not interested in making deals on behalf of our country. He's going to make deals on behalf of his own companies. And it's already plainly stated. He's going overseas trying to establish more of his Trump Towers and trying to establish more trade in other countries. But it's not for the benefit of our country. And the deal he made over there in the Middle East regarding arms is going to benefit only a few people. So then the reality is we have a person with many kinds of interests and these interests are only for his own companies. Now then what we have the understanding from this administration is people from rural areas they are going to have no Medicaid to help them through their situations. This much we know. Now then, prestige, America first, and these are simply words. They don't mean anything. Because words requires actions. And you can make America first with this absolutely scoundrously low salary or minimum wage. person can say a thousand words, speaks nicely of our country, our great history, the wars. And then nothing of these understandings reflecting what people are earning. So, people are tired of words. They want actions as far as, as what they make in other kinds of work they can do but the job market is very scarce and payment is absolutely low so if the president of our country is so concerned with the nation why does he not work for the minimum wage and show us how to live so Daniel explains very precisely in Daniel 11 regarding then the system that was despised. Now then Daniel 11 explains then sections. They have layers in Daniel. The first layer of Daniel identifies where then the prophet is located at and then the second speaks of a period of time that already in the future, but from our standpoint, it's already past and then coming back again. Later on, then he explains the kingdom of the south and kingdom of the north. Later on, coming with much equipment, meaning military equipment. And then, afterwards, he speaks of tabernacling for a bit. 
and then comes down towards the despising of a system verse 21 of Daniel 11 so then from the standpoint of economics Daniel have a couple of layers at least the first economical situation amongst countries the second relates with the military and explains then the kingdom of the north later on coming with a great army and much equipment so then when leaders of the world they come around and they try to interpret on their own they are not reading the scripture they don't understand what the future brings and there they are coming together and trying to make deals in situations they have absolutely no knowledge that whatsoever they decide won't work never did that's why their nations are busted now the only country for sure that's going to work is China it's the only nation per the instructions of Daniel and Revelation is the only kingdom that is lining up for the trade of the world now then if nations they wanted to come together talk together come up with the plans together be sure of it whatsoever they do won't work never did for the last thousand years and won't be the first time now then when people they are unaware of what the scriptures are saying and they go along with these scoundrels politicians even though some of them they have granted at least a desire to do for the nation things they should be doing such as the narration of more work and minimum wage raising for instance that this president never does then during this period of time if we observe where our president is going he's going to the Middle East it makes no sense he's going to the Soviet Union makes no sense and it takes a trip to China it is relevant but what he imposes on China makes no sense he's a simply a, a, a back and forth kind of a guy that doesn't know what he's doing very hard mouth hard to deal with and there is the nation then the very people that voted for him in the rural areas then what do they get in return a cut in their medical benefits in America first and uh, so on and so forth and talking great and and what about the minimum wage so this president is making economical interpretations of his own without consulting the holy instructions and the answer is it's going to end up in disaster whatsoever he's doing it won't work Revelation explains another section regarding Daniel, regarding trade, regarding the holy instructions, regarding everything else related with these particular sections that we are talking of. Now then, the point the United States has failed it's because of system the United States has taken so long to understand the importance of a system these means online system these means trade online trade via internet establishing our American money as a means of international exchange now then China started expanding itself for so long so for so many years so many decades and they have invested on situations online the United States has not of course in the future is going to fail 
Now this busybody president going around back and forth, bouncing around around the nations over there, and he's not working in our economy via the internet. I don't understand the entirely America and South America, Central America, the entire Americas, they are simply floating around in economical sense, disorganized, they have no plans for the future. And then our president, rather than taking on the leadership, he's bouncing around in Europe and Asia and some other corners over there, and what he's trying to do? He's making deals on behalf of his own companies. That's what he's doing there. Then it comes around then with the voluminous volumes of understanding of his practical work and years of experience in the field. And he has done not much. So then he is making interpretations of the economy on his own. He's not interested in what the scripture is saying as far as revelation and the merchants of the earth and where taxes are coming from. Now the gathering of taxes of a country regarding the net or the internet is coming from the freighters, from the merchants of the earth via online. And our president is doing nothing significant regarding then the system and how our nation should benefit from taxes online. So, since he is interpreting the economy on his own, thinking that the economy should go in a certain direction, the scripture is saying it's going in the other direction. So, let's wait and observe. So please stay tuned, much more coming up.